Among Trump's torrent of lies, he claimed there'd be so much economic growth from his tax law that the average American household would see a $4,000 annual pay increase. Except instead of raising wages or making productive investments, corporations loaded up their CEOs and shareholders with stock buybacks. What Republican tax cuts achieve without fail is to increase debt and deficits and to lavish billions worth of tax breaks on wealthy donors and large corporations. Trump's tax cut was so loaded up for the rich that foreign investors enjoyed a larger windfall than the bottom 60% of Americans. Making those tax cuts permanent would send a full 40% of the new tax benefits to the top 5%. President Biden's budget would reduce the deficit by $3 trillion while leveling the playing field for American workers and small businesses. Speaker McCarthy's proposal would cut funding for law enforcement, child nutrition, and medical research, for instance, throw a million folks off Meals on Wheels, but protect loopholes that let billionaires pay lower tax rates than teachers and firefighters. There is a very clear choice. Our corrupted tax code should be fixed for its own sake. Removing its flagrant injustices would also help reduce our debt and deficit. That makes fairer taxes a good place to start.